Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my let's play of Quest for Glory. Um, so, this is the second video, I guess part 5, again I have to apologize, still I'm not sure why suddenly I cannot upload videos longer than 20 minutes unless somebody, I don't know, reduced my credentials, since if you remember Sometimes I actually published videos that were way over an hour long, uh, close to an hour and a half. And um, but till I figure this out, you know, well, I'll again divide the video in as many parts as necessary, but it will be the same one, you know, just four pieces. Yeah. Anyway, if you remember correctly. Uh, oh no no first thank you for all the comments and likes and I will reply to them perhaps not today because it's quite late but tomorrow uh, but um, if you remember in the previous video uh, we started with day three yeah this is it so now we are in the inn at the inn sorry uh, I make this mistake constantly and today we'll meet some new people let us just check the chart where uh, where do we stand uh, yeah health okay stamina okay magic points wow stealth 93 now i'll st stop using stealth i don't want to get to a hundred sometimes the game goes crazy when you get a certain skill uh, to a hundred and you know becomes well, much more difficult. Uh, so, now we are outside. One thing... I realized... Sorry, I'm smoking. <laughs> One thing I realized... While offline is that we don't have enough vigor potions. And... We'll pur purchase more. But before we do that... We'll... Okay, now I'll, I will uh, change this mode to running. Oh, come on. Okay, running. So now we'll meet more people. And we need to start working on, our, uh, uh, on other skills as well. Not just stealth. So a good way to develop your strong muscles is to do some physical labor. Here is the castle of the Baron And here is the guard You can ask him about anything He's a nice fellow Castle Okay, sorry uh, One thing I've noticed that sometimes I I skip um, I skip, uh, you know, dialogues too early So his name is Carl The castle, this is the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Okay. Job. The stable keeper could use a strong young person to help to help clean out the stables. This is what we are interested in. Not so much for the payment of course, but because we will become stronger. What else can we ask him? About reward. Okay safe return of so Baron basically lost both of his children both are missing his son and his daughter and the reward for each is quite high yeah now you think no it's not yeah but because you know of the mushroom bug otherwise 50 gold uh, coins is amazing uh, you know amount of money so okay I remember first time playing this game, I didn't know how to convince him to open the door for me. But you just click this. Just a minute while I raise the gate. And we go inside. Uh, here is the castle. Left are the barracks, nothing interesting there. But here on the right 
you have the stables and if you there is a horse here but you cannot really interact with it and if you want to get inside <coughs> <coughs> this man appears says looking for some work yes good come in here and take a rake so this is something you should do I don't know for five maybe even ten days to get your strength up I don't pay you to rest get to work now okay um, as you will see the reward um, the payment is quite low but mm -hmm. Okay, come on over here. So now we'll get five silvers, which is half of a gold coin. Not much, but something else is more important. Look, our strength is up consider considerably and vitality as well. So this is something you should do. Let us talk to the fellow. No points this time. Work. Very simple. Grab a rake. Clean this place up. Pay. Five silvers. Um, monsters. See, those things scare me silly. So, not everybody can discuss everything, you know. They have limited knowledge. Uh, this is what I like about this game. Antwerp. That's uh, this is a kind of a monster we will encounter. What else? Um, Baron? No, horse. Let us ask him now. Horse. So now they only have three horses. Uh, so I think that our friend. The the centaur girl can help <laughs> no kidding kidding this is this was racist sorry okay so we go now I think we'll meet another person no he's not here yet sometimes um, you know you encounter a sword master here and later will later much later in the game will challenge him of uh, you know uh, for a duel and win of course but not just yet we are not strong enough we don't our weapon use statistics is quite low you know um, we are not ready yet to fight any kind of a serious opponent but before we go well meet more people and start fighting with some monsters and everything we'll purchase even more even more uh, bigger potions, stamina potions. Let me just check something. How much money do we have? I'm pretty sure that I will be, you know, um, uh, getting uh, more um, mushrooms later in the game, but for now we will just get stamina and I will show you now also the legit way to get a lot of money but it is very very boring so you know you should consider um, 13 bigger potions I hate odd numbers I want an even one so uh, yeah let's now save Marco zero zero nine and we leave. Also, I want to check something else. Uh, our, as you can see, we are carrying more than we well we are able to. So this is not good, but really cannot be avoided okay so now this is Hilda's father 
he stops raking as we approach, sorry for the fast clicking, now we ask him about the name, Heinrich, Uncle Heine, well actually fa Father Heine, uh, so we ask about Hilda, a bright little filly, yeah, I agree. Um, let us ask him about the brigands. Mm -hmm. Now we get uh, important information. So they attacked him, broke his leg, but then there was an unlikely intervention of their leader. Now we ask about the leader, we get three more points, you see. So the leader obviously has a soft spot for the people from the town. That's a good clue. That and a high-pitched voice. <coughs> so, who is this leader? Huh? What do you think, guys, if you haven't played this game before? Un compassion unlike what one expects from a brigand. Okay, now let us ask him about the healer. She's very skilled with potions. Okay, that's enough for now. I just want to check um, the chart. So our stamina <coughs> is somewhat low and perhaps uh, we should drink a vigor potion, but first I want to save the game and since I'm starting to cough, I will now take a little pause. Uh, be right back. Um, yo, I'm back. Yeah, it was good I took a little pause because I started sneezing quite violently. So, I guess it's not just the smoking. Either I have a cold, you know, or some kind of an allergy, but now I'm better. So, play. Now let us go north. So now we are running, as you can see. This is the best way to move quickly. You really shouldn't be walking uh, most of the time, you know. Either stealth or run. Both options are great. Uh, and, ooh, our first opponent. This is actually a goblin. I'm just not sure if we have enough let us test um, our spells. This is how you use spells. Fire dart. I'm just not sure if we have enough uh, stamina to win this fight. See? This is how you fight. You can use your arrow keys or your mouse. I prefer arrow keys. And now that we have defeated the goblin, we get a point, uh, some points for it. And now we search uh, his dead body and we find 10 silver coins. This is also a way to make money. And take a look at our chart. Well, weapons, weapon use still the same, yeah. Because the fight didn't last very long, but yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Intelligence and vitality are up again. And since, uh, as you can see, our uh, stamina is really low, we will drink a Vigor Potion. Stamina, if you prefer. Take a look at the chart now. Back to full stamina. So, this is like bot bottled cocaine, you know. <laughs> okay, now let us continue with our jog through the woods. So this is the first type of the enemy we encountered, um, a goblin. They are not really dangerous, but you know. And we got to use magic. Okay, and this is a very special place now. It's called Erana's Peace. Um, Erana was a uh, female, uh, you know, sorceress. Well, obviously she was a sorceress, but you know what I wanted to say. And 
like centuries ago she uh, you know put a spell a good spell on the town so it is safe and here is her, her final resting place but it it isn't she's buried somewhere else but this is this is one of the safe places where you can spend the night without being killed you know if you if you sleep in the forest you just die here you can sleep plus everything is replenished you know um, your health your stamina um, uh, your magic points you know so it's a magical place to spend the night okay so yeah you feel that you are safe here so there are some things you can do here first this is not her grave don't worry ancient deliberately placed writing okay Erana's piece and some runes let's say Ah, it reads, if thy will is magic, so shall I share, open this stone and claim what is there. And your first impulse, of course, is to open it like this. No amount of physical effort will be able to move this stone. Luckily, 